so if he wins this one, then Neil Robertson will have quite a bit to think about. Because I'm convinced when Neil Robertson was clearing up to go 8-2 in front, he thought the match was over. Just looking at his body language and the way he was hitting the balls, it was more like exhibition stuff. Got it. Well, it's not bad, it's put him on the brown. He'll settle for that. Yes, these are his trademark shots, aren't they, over this week, especially against Ronnie O'Sullivan, where it's hard to say he outplayed an O'Sullivan in form. O'Sullivan did precious little wrong, and Robertson beat him 5 1. The red below the black goes without saying is the difficult ball at the minute, but there is reds he can get on to get onto the black, so he doesn't have to play for that red hit. Can't get on the black now though, so it'll be either blue or pink, or even ball colour. Five. Six. I think he's going to throw caution to the wind here. If the green's not straight, he'll take the green on. Depends whether it's straight or not. We'll give you a little look at the angle. I think there's a bit of value in taking this on, John. I don't think this is too reckless. Yeah, it's not the perfect potted angle. And he's got to get the cue ball right back to this end to be on a red. Take it on, he may, but a good shot's needed. He's hit that so well. Where's the cue ball going? Well, that's as good as a screw Nine. shot that we've seen. Boy, oh boy, just look at this cue ball. Bottom follow through. It's hit too well. Yeah, it's 50% of the players in the game couldn't play that shot. I was one of them, I couldn't play a shot at that distance, but yeah, we screwed it by some five or six feet. I was thinking he was going to pot the green and run through off two cushions to come down this end, but that's the beauty of Q power. You're Robertson, nine. So, not lost his confidence just yet. Again, he's really got to try and dig deep at the moment. If he wins another two frames, he can win this match. His safety has been very, very poor. One. Cut on for Neil. He's not scoring at the moment, Neil Robertson, but. The problem is, if you keep giving him chances, eventually he's going to string a break together. I think that's a great point, John. His last break was breaks of 35 and 63. He'll go into 8-2 in front. And since then, he's had two or three chances every frame in the three frames he's lost and hasn't made a 30. Now, he's got an angle on this Five. red. He could play for the black. Depends what angle he has. His two reds in the middle are available as well for the pink. A lot of players would play that for the black, but he's decided to try and get a bit of confidence back and try and score a few points. Six. This is a great chance for frame and match. If this was the frame from 8-2 to win 9-2, I'd fancy him strong. But what's gone on in the previous frames, you never know. Twelve. 
13. John, I'm going to put you on the spot, having seen what's happened in the last half an hour or so. Do you see him scoring enough here? Well, I can do, and, and the main reason being is that the the pink's available into, well, at least two pockets, 19. right centre, left corner. The black is available into one of the corner pockets. Blue's obviously on its spot, so... His expectation will be to get 60 or 70 here at this visit. Yeah, okay. 20. Maybe too risky to screw back off the black and move that red away. The reason I'm saying that, it could stick to the red and he may not be on the red over the corner. I think I'd like to just clear them out without risking any kisses at the moment. This is the biggest moment of his life now. Chance to win his first major. He knows that he should do from here. <coughs> well, this red must pass the black, and if it does, it's a good shot. 27. Sorry, yeah. Well, he's asking the referee to respot the black. Now, I honestly don't think he played for this red, John. I think he played for the red to the left-hand corner and overhit it. He's asked for the ball to be replaced, and it still looks very tight, doesn't it? The red he's going round for now, I think, is the one he played for. He thinks it pots, but at our first picture, it only goes off the middle of the pocket, not the left and right-hand jaw. Be careful. Well, great chance now. Thank you. A player, of course, is quite entitled to ask the referee to try to re-spot a, a ball. If he doesn't think he's put it on the spot right. Anyway, that fraction of an inch made all the difference. 35. 36. Something really unexpected would have to happen now. 43. Cole, well, we'd be disappointed with his performance today. He's had plenty of chances. It's really part of the match, really, that never really settled and produced the form he has done during 44. The, the tournament but he'll take some great memories away maximum break not many players have done that in tournaments you know I see a little tear in his eye there John can't you how disappointed he is he knows he's had a great chance in this tournament but he's playing another rookie as well that's never won before I think we've been blessed to have two great young players go to a final of a tournament Especially after losing somebody like Paul Hunter last week. 51. We've got two young stars here, they're going to be around and they're going to be here to stay. 52. Mm. Colour. And one more red needed. the first Australian to win a world ranking event. Just betwixt and between, isn't he? Not perfect on blue, brown or green. One of them he'll have to play. Hit it well, he's not on that red. There you see it. He's 64 points in front, but there's still 67 55. remaining. And he's no pot to go at. <coughs> I don't think he can get to the red immediately below the pink. You see, it clearly goes. That's the red he played on. He 
It didn't come far enough down the table. Well, did he? Can he just get through to it? The red for the match. Risky. Very risky. New Robertson, 55. Well, he's eggs in one basket there. Didn't think he could get enough of it. He certainly could. In fact, if anything, he hit it too thick. though not to have left anything easy as far as positional sense was concerned One. because the equation is quite simple if he misses the pink he needs a snooker yes he's not got that many points to play with he came to the table 64 points behind possible 67 left on the table so he can afford two pinks but off the remaining reds he'll have to get blacks but a good shot needed on the pink for starters no. Jamie Cork well, one. It was a big ask. Well, he had the result of results there for me, Neil Robertson. Sixty-three points in front, fifty-nine remaining. It was a snooker to tie needed for Jamie Cope. He'll feel that that was probably his last shot or last chance of winning this match. And if this red goes in, that will be it. Five. And Jamie Cope, well, he'd be disappointed, but he shouldn't be. Just take this form into other tournaments during this season, and he'll Six. be a man who nobody will be itching <laughs> to play. Pink ball. So just hit the pink. Jamie Cope will concede. <laughs> he comes Six. Pim and Max. Pim and Max. And now to receive an 18 karat gold watch, a check, a trophy, and the title of the 2006 Royal London Watches Grand Prix Champion, Neil Robertson.